Hey guys, it's Will from Will's Fifth Course Special back here with you once again. And there's another trade that just happened, but it's on the other side of town. Our last Facebook Live emergency one in the last few hours on the Cubs. But this one is with the Chicago White Sox. They are trading catcher Reese McGuire, who uh, fans don't remember we traded for earlier in the um, season, before the season began, for Zach Collins, uh, sending him to Toronto. But the White Sox are now shipping... Left-handed hitting catcher Reese McGuire to the Boston Red Sox for left-handed reliever Jake Diekman, who's been around the league quite a bit. Um, a lot of people uh, will remember our closer, Liam Hendricks, uh, was a teammate of his in Oakland. So uh, Jake Diekman, 35 years of age, uh, left-handed bullpen arm the White Sox really could use right now. So I really like that move. Um, turns out Reese McGuire, according to reports, was also traded because he was out of options and Sebi Zavala was as well. And Zavala has been playing a lot better. Um, I, I liked what Reese did with Chicago and we wish him nothing but the best in his career. Uh, but I think this was a move that needed to be done. It's a smart move, you know, because we saw what Josh Hader cost the Padres. So, and that was another lefty. So this guy didn't really cost that much. I think it was a really smart move. Sorry, guys. By Chicago. Uh, probably the first of many, I'm assuming. I have heard reports that they are competing with the Mets and probably a few other teams for a left-handed reliever in Andrew Chafin uh, with Detroit. Um, I would look at some of Detroit's other bullpen options as well. Excuse me for a minute. Sorry. Got something in my eye there. Um, I would look at some of those guys as well. Uh, I think Diekman really helps this bullpen. We don't know when Bummer is going to come back, but when he does, we're going to have two valuable lefties. It means we don't have to see a Tanner Banks or a Bennett Sousa, who weren't very consistent. So it gives the White Sox a little more options. I think given the trade value and like options they have, it was pretty smart. Um, you know, I mean, we saw Atlanta make some pretty low-key smart moves with bats, so I think that's what the White Sox did here with a bullpen arm. So welcome Jake Diekman to Chicago. Um, I've seen the guy pitch before. He does a pretty good job. I mean, he was on a lot of different teams, uh, the White Sox have faced, and he's done pretty good against us. So now it's nice to have him on our side for a change. So uh, White Sox trade, as I mentioned, Reese Mc catcher Reese McGuire uh, to the Boston Red Sox for left-handed reliever, 35-year-old Jake Diekman, now headed to the south side of Chicago. So probably the first of many moves I do expect and hope Rick Hahn to address the right field issue, get a nice left-handed bat that could help out, um, another bullpen arm or two, um, low cost would be good as well. I do want to add a player the White Sox keep their eye on as well to this emerging Facebook Live. Brett Phillips, a left-handed hitter, uh, could play outfield, help out in right field, maybe platoon with the Gavin Sheets even. Um, was designated for assignment by the Tampa Bay Rays. So, Rick Kahn, go take a look at this guy. But Jake Diekman traded the White Sox for catcher Reese McGuire. When the fourth quarter buzzer sounds, you turn to us for your fifth quarter sports talk. This is another emergency Facebook Live MLB trade deadline edition of Will's fifth quarter special. See you guys on the next one.